sir has youtube live started yeah we are live on youtube we are live on youtube and session is live over to shreyas good evening everyone welcome to the first session of day 2 make a ferry program organized and run by us students of various areas across the nation i am shreyas the host for this session in today's session we have two think opinions kavana and satvika to talk on the importance of 21st century skills kavana is a class 7 student of kendriya vidyalaya drdo karnataka and we have satvika from class 7 of army public school shillong meghalaya both have a common interest of creating digital products which help students by making e learning resources and websites now i invite kavana and satvika to start their webinar thank you shreyas good evening everyone many of you may be familiar with the term 21st century skills but do you know what they are myself and satvika will spend the next 20 minutes each giving a high level overview of 21st century skills i hope you all can see the screen yes it is started present okay so first let's learn about this webinar this webinar is all about getting you well educated with 21st century skills as they are going to be the leading skills in the future so now let's start with what are 21st century skills now we can understand this question in two ways first one's going to be for kids so that they understand this simply and the second one is going to be for adults teens and so on now let's start with the me skills the self management skills that include self awareness self control attention and focus as well also executive function skills which allow us to manage regulate and control our emotions and behavior the we skills these are people skills that allow us to understand share and play well with others including the language the empathy the listening and the social and emotional skills which are necessary for effective communication collaboration and teamwork now next is the why skills skills that include questioning curiosity and the inquisitiveness that allow us to always see the world as a big question mark and strive for a better understanding of how the world works next is the will skills the self motivation and they define these critically important skills including a positive and can do attitude determination perseverance and focus put into attention next is wiggle skills which is basically the physical and intellectual restlessness make up the wiggle skills that play a key role in putting why and will into action the wobble skills skills that allow for build foster agility adaptability and confer the ability to face overcome and learn from failure next is the what if skills curiosity imagination and creativity these could be the skills that ultimately allow us to understand not just how the world is but look at how it can become let's next look at the now let's look at this in a theoretical way each 21st century skill is broken into three categories learning skills literacy skills and life skills the learning skills known as the four c's teaches students about the mental process which is required to adapt and improve upon a modern classroom environment now let's start with category 1 that is let's start with category 1 that is learning skills the four c's are by far the most popular 21st century skills these skills are also called the learning skills more educators know about these skills because they are universal needs for any career they also vary in terms of importance four c's of the 21st century skills are first one is critical thinking which means finding solutions to different problems critical thinking is essential to improvement it is the mechanism that weeds out problems and then replaces them it's what helps students figure out stuff for themselves when they don't have a teacher at their disposal next is creativity 
which means thinking outside the box. Creativity is equally important as a means of adaptation. This skill empowers students to see concepts in different light, which leads to innovation. Next is collaboration, which means working with others. Collaboration means getting students to work together to achieve compromises and get the best possible results from solving a problem. Next is communication, talking to others. Finally, communication is the glue that brings all of these educational qualities together. Communication is a requirement for anything. It's crucial for students to learn how to effectively convey ideas among different personality types. That has the potential to eliminate confusion in a classroom, a workplace, or any other place, which makes your classmates valuable part of the team. Now let's look at literacy skills in the next slide. Literacy skills are the next category of 21st century skills. Literacy skills focuses on how students can discern facts, they can publish outlets and the technology behind them. There is a strong focus on determining trustworthy sources and factual information to separate it from the misinformation that floods the internet. They are sometimes called IMT skills and they're each concerned with a different element in digital comprehension. The three 21st century literacy skills are, first one is information literacy which means understanding facts, figures, statistics, and data. Information literacy is the foundational skill and it helps students to understand facts, especially data points that they'll mainly encounter online. More importantly, it teaches them how to separate fact from fiction. In the age of chronic misinformation, finding truth online has become a job all on its own. It's crucial that students can identify honesty on their own, Otherwise, they can fall prey to myths, misconceptions, and outright lies. Next is media literacy. Understanding the methods and outlets of in which information is published. Media literacy is the practice of identifying publishing methods, outlets, and sources while distinguishing between the ones that are credible and the ones that are not. Like the previous skill, Media literacy is helpful for finding truth in a world that is just flooded with all types of information. This is how students can find trustworthy sources of information in their lives. Without it, anything that looks credible becomes mainly credible. But with it, they can learn which media outlets or formats to ignore, and they also learn which ones to embrace, which is equally important for their education and academics. The last one is technology literacy. Understanding the machines that make the information age possible. They, uh, technology literacy goes another step further to teach students about the machines involved in the information age. As computers, cloud programming, and mobile devices become more and more important to the world, the world may need some things so that people understand those concepts. Technology literacy gives students the basic information they need to understand what gadgets perform what tasks and why do they perform that. This understanding removes intimidating feeling that technology tends to have. After all, if you don't understand how, how technology works, it might as well be magic. But technology literacy unmasks the high powered tools that run in today's world. As a result, students can adapt to the world more effectively. I'm sorry. They can play an important role in its evolution. They might even guide their future. But to truly round out a student's 21st century skills, they need to learn from a third category. The next slide, which is life skills. The life skills is the final category. Life skills take a look at the intangible elements of a student's everyday life. Intangible basically means something you can't physically see or touch. These intangibles focus on both personal and professional qualities. Also called flips, these skills pertain to someone's personal life, but they also bleed into professional settings. The five 21st century life skills are flexibility, which means deviating from plans as needed. Flexibility is the expression of someone's ability to adapt to the changing circumstances. This is one of the most 
challenging qualities to learn for students because it's hard based on two uncomfortable ideas you may hear a lot. Your way isn't the best way or you have to know and admit when you're wrong. You might have heard this a lot, right? Well, that's a struggle for a lot of students, especially in an age where you can know any bit of information at the drop of a hat. Flexibility requires them to show humility and accept that they will always have a lot to learn, even when they're very, very experienced. Still, flexibility is crucial to a student's long-term success in a career. Knowing when to change, how to change, and how to react is a skill that they'll pay dividends for someone's entire life. Now, next is leadership which means motivating a team to accomplish a goal. Leadership is someone's penchant for setting goals or walking a team through the steps required and achieving those goals collaboratively. Whether someone's a seasoned entrepreneur or a fresh student just starting their school, leadership applies to your classroom or career. Entry-level workers need leadership for lots of reasons. The most important that it helps them understand the decisions that maybe your leaders make. Then those entry level classroom, your one of those entry level classmates of yours, can apply those their leadership skills when they're promoted to the next level. This is where 21st century skills learners can apply the previous skills they've learned. Well, now let's see. It's also where the real world experience starts. As they lead individual departments, they can learn the ins and outs of specific careers. That gives ambitious students the expertise they need to grow professionally and lead whole corporations. The next one is initiative, starting projects, strategies, and plans on one's own. Initiative is the ability to assess and initiate things independently. Initiative only comes naturally to a handful of people. As a result, students need to learn it to fully succeed. This is one of the hardest skills to learn in practice. Initiatives often means working on projects outside of the regular studying hours. Regardless, initiative is an attribute and, earn the, and earns rewards. It is especially indicated of someone's character in terms of classroom ethics. That goes double when initiative is practiced with, flexibility, with qualities like flexibility and leadership. Next is productivity. Maintaining efficiency in an age of lots of distractions. Initiative is the ability to assess and initiate things independently. Along with initiative, 21st century skills require students to learn about productivity. That's a student's ability to complete work in a limited amount of time. Now, next we have social skills, which basically means meeting and networking with others. Social skills, we use them every day to interact and communicate with others. Social skills are key, crucial to on the ongoing success of a student. This concept of networking is more active in some mm, classrooms than others, but proper social skills are excellent tools. While these may have been implied in the past generations, the rise of social media and instant communications have changed the nature of human interaction. As a result, today's students possess a wide range of social skills. Some are more socially adept than others. Some are far behind their peers and some lucky few may be a lot far ahead. And socializing comes naturally to them, but most students need a course in social skills at least. Etiquette, manners, politeness, and small talk can still play a major roles in today's world. Now let's move to the next slide. Here, now let's take an overview of 21st century skills with the help of an organization chart. So first you have the 21st century skills, which is divided into three categories, the learning skills, the literacy skills and the life skills. Now, as given, learnings, now you have the four C's. Uh, now I've just explained what the four C's, what IMTs and what flips are. Yes, uh, so let's move to the next slide. 
So here we have some major 21st century skills. So here we have some major 21st century. We have some major 21st century skills, which may actually the action of working with the first one is collaboration and teamwork. The action of working with someone to produce something critical thing. Now next is creativity and imagination. I think the speaker had has few network issues until. Okay, so I see that the speaker has some network issue. So I'll take this forward. So the first one we have is collaboration and teamwork. So what is the meaning of collaboration and teamwork? The action of working with someone to produce something. So that is the theoretical definition. Now, let me get this a bit more simpler for you guys. So, for example, say your teacher gave you and your friend to work on a responsibility chart. So, she said that you both have to work together to do this. So, the main thing or the common thing which you are doing is making of a responsibility chart. Right. So, you are doing collaboration as well because you are collaborating with your teammate or your friend. And you are team working to create a responsibility chart. Next, we have creativity and imagination. So this is the use of imagination or original ideas to create something is creativity and imagination. So say you got a creative and unique and different idea to create a time machine. This is something, right? Yes, I've joined back, yes. Okay. okay, so I'll continue from where Satrika left off. Creativity is the capacity and the ability to think uniquely and imagine things in order to make things or cause things to be or become or bring into existence. Imagination is the creative ability to form images, ideas, and sensations in the mind without direct input from the senses, such as seeing or hearing. Now again, let's understand this better with an example. So you come up with a creative idea of making a time machine. You imagine the outcome of how it's going to be like when you can travel back to the 1800s or travel into the future. You imagine the design of how it's going to be and imagine the outcome of the time machine. Next one is critical thinking. Critical thinking means the objective analysis and evaluation of an issue in order to form a judgment. Critical thinking is the intellectually disciplined process of actively and skillfully applying in information gathered in observation, experience, reasoning, or communication as a guide to belief and action. For example, a nurse analyzes the cases at hand and decides the order by which the patient should be treated. Next is problem solving. The ability to handle difficult or unexpected situations in the classroom, as well as complex challenges. Problem solving skills refers to our ability to solve problem in an effective and timely manner without any in impediments. Impediments basically means without anything bad or let's say any gaps. It involves being able to identify and define the problem or generating alternative solutions and selecting the best alternative and implementing the selected solution. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Here you have two flowcharts. One is on problem solving and the other one is on critical thinking. So first let's look at the problem solving flowchart. Now let's say there's a problem in your society and now let's look at this flowchart and see how we are going to solve it. First one is ask and explore. First, ask exactly what the problem is and how it's affecting the people of your society. Next is model and compute. First, take a paper and pen and then just design different solutions. Think of different solutions. Then examine and interpret, which means you have to examine the solutions and see how it helps with the problem. Next is make decisions. 
here you have to now you come up with a few solutions now you have to make decisions on which is the best one and the last one share your results if you keep your solution to yourself the problem will not just go away magically of course you have to share your results to your society then you might actually solve the problem now let's look at critical thinking skills first one is communication talk to other people about the problem then understand about the problem then open mindedness you should be open to new ideas as well as creativity next is problem solving now i'll just explain this to you once again the ability to handle difficult or unexpected situations that's basically problem solving where you come up to different solutions for different problems next is creativity thinking outside the box coming up with new ideas new solutions next is analysis as given in the uh, what do you say example but i'll still tell it to you again a nurse analyzes cases at hand and decides the order by which the patient should be treated now that was the example and now what that means is analyzing it basically just organizing it analyze you can organize it as well so now next slide in today's world our schools are preparing students for jobs that might not yet exist career readiness means equipping students with a number of skills that can prepare them for the unknown social media has changed human interaction and has created new challenges in navigating social situations the age of the internet has dramatically increased access to knowledge students need to learn how to process and analyze large amounts of information now i pass on to satvika to continue thank you governor hello everyone and satvika now let me continue further with the webinar now before we get started let me cite a beautiful quote by bill gates that is as we look ahead that is as we look ahead into the future as we look ahead into the 21st century leaders will be those who empower others now we are going to learn how is 21st century skills going to help students with their future engaging students in solving complex problems that require higher order thinking and application of content and that result in new perspectives and solutions to problems providing opportunities for students to work collaborative as they gather information solve problems share ideas and generate new ideas in this globally and digitally interconnected world all learners from cradle to career need new skills and knowledge to succeed if we want to prepare our children for success in school work and life opportunities to learn 21st century skills are essential these 21st century skills are more important to students now than ever before our business community demands a workforce with these skills to ensure our competitiveness in a global economy and at a time when our civic life feels strained we want our learners to enter the world with an understanding of what it takes to be a good citizen one one who can be civically engaged critically thinking digitally literate globally aware and an effective communicator higher education and business leaders cite soft skills as being the most important driver of success in higher level courses and in workplace 21st century skills potentially leads to long term benefits such as higher rates of employment and educational fulfillment good leadership skills as well as curiosity are important for students to learn for their future jobs 21st century skills go above and beyond your professional life now let's go to the next slide so now we have learned a lot about 21st century skills right but how are you going to acquire them so to do that 
let your students lead the learning. Learning takes place best in environments where students feel free and feel empowered to learn. Create an inquiry-based classroom environment. Encourage collaboration. Develop critical thinking skills and encourage creativity. And to do all of these, try participating in your school's ATL. If you don't have an ATL, which is an utter tinkering lab, don't worry. Just grab all the opportunities that come in your way. May it be a best out of waste competition, recitation competition. You might think it's just a waste of time. But you are wrong. Because say you are participating in a best out of waste competition and you get a chance to collaborate with students from different sections, different classes and other things by which you are acquiring collaboration skills. Now let's move on to the next slide. So what are the IQ and QI skills? In 21st century, all the subjects we learned like mathematics, English, history, geography, and other languages and subjects will be considered as IQ skills. And skills like creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, problem solving, communication skills, digital literacy, flexibility, productivity, social skills, leadership, initiative are considered as QI skills. As the word is pronounced as K-E-Y, they are the key to success. So let's move on to the next slide. So it's example time. We'll discuss about a few examples on several 21st century skills, like communication skills, adaptability skills, creativity, and imagination. So the first example we are going to take is about Nokia. As you all know, Nokia is a Finnish multinational telecommunications, information technology, and consumer electronics company, founded in 1865. During those days, people were crazy about Nokia's keypad mobiles until the touchpad mobile released by Apple. Nokia was too late to adapt to the touchpad mobiles, due to which it created a downfall for Nokia. Next up, we have Kodak. Have any, has any one of you heard about it? Maybe not, as it's a very old company. Try asking someone older than you, I'm sure they'll know, because that was a really famous company back then. Now let's start with it. As technology progressed, the use of films films and printing sheets gradually came to a halt. This was due to the invention of digital cameras in 1975. The ignorance of new technology and not adapting to the ma changing market dynamics initiated Kodak's downfall. Their slogan was, you press the button, we do the rest. It might seem a bit weird nowadays when it comes to taking pictures and cameras, but back in 1800s, it seemed like magic. But why? Because during those times, for taking even one picture, they had to carry all the heavy stuff for just taking a picture. So that's, that's why Kodak used to provide films and printing sheets. And they also had a slogan that you press the button, we do the rest. But then digital cameras were released and Kodak couldn't adapt to that changing market dynamics, which created a downfall. The third one, we have BlackBerry. BlackBerry was once the apple of today. But due to its arrogance and stubbornness, to, cha to change has led to the downfall of the phone. To summarize BlackBerry's failure to adapt, Lack of consumer insight and poor design has led to the demise of BlackBerry. Now let's start with communication skills. We'll take this in form of, in form of a story because who doesn't like stories? Everyone likes, right? So we'll take this in form of a story. So there lived a student, a student who was from a totally rural area. 
His father, who was a shepherd, has sent his son to school and, and made sure that he acquired proper knowledge, a proper education, and he had all the knowledge. By God's grace, he topped in every topic he learned. He decided to be an IAS. As you all know, it's one of the most competitive examinations. But still, he passed out with a batch of a topper. He was sent to the interview where he was rejected. But why? Well, even if he knew everything, he couldn't present his vision with clarity and confidence, which is called as communication skills. Now, you might have understood that just one skill of 21st century skills affects a person's life so significantly. Now, again, let's take an example on creativity now. Now, by creativity, what do you understand? In simple words, out of the box thinking, right? Now, say your teacher asked you, you and all your classmates to draw a drawing. All of the students may come up with a common drawing, but what makes your drawing special? That's creativity. When you do something unique, different from others. Let's take an example on imagination now. Again, it's a story. H have you heard any of your friends say, imagine if that happened, or can you imagine, imagine how great that would be? Then you won't have the urge to imagine it. There was once one person who went by the name Ram, who would never even try to imagine things because he had no imagination. He could not think of anything creative, but he again hazed all of his exams and went for a job interview. And the person asked, how do you see yourself in five years working in this company? But since he had no imagination, he could not imagine anything. And he said, I'm not able to imagine myself. And because that was his answer, he was not accepted for the job. And why do you think he was not accepted? Because in 21st century, everyone will value the 21st century skills, each one of them. Now let's take an example on problem solving. Now let me tell you a real story. It's a real one, which it really happened, which is about Ola. Ola was founded by IIT Bombay alumni Bhavesh Agarwal and Ankit Pandey in 2008. Unlike others, he started his career as a researcher at Microsoft. He was, he was a blogger focused in technology content. One day, he had very bad experience with taxi driver. As the driver started ne negotiating trip, fell in the middle of the road, he thought about solutions for the problem, initiated a startup, Ola Cabs. Gap between commuters, commu uh, commuters and owners of cabs filled with technology addition. Every part timer, level, timer loves to associate with Ola for consistent business. This move made the business multifold returns so many angel investors like Snapdeal founder invested in Ola. Now it is $5 billion taxi service provider. Now let's move on to the next slide. Now in the next slide, we will be sharing about our experience. So on to you, Kavana. Over to you, Kavana, to share your experiences. Thank you, Satvika. So first, I'm going to share my experiences on acquiring 21st century skills. So first, I needed communication skills to interact with my students in my photography workshop. I also used creativity to come up with an idea um, we have, where I had to come up with the idea of a photography workshop, which had to stand out of everyone else's of what they were conducting. Next, I... I developed research skills where I had to answer my students' questions. Of course, you would have gone up to your mentor asking um, any doubt, any doubt or so. Some students are shy, but 
that's why you're supposed to ask, does anyone have any doubts? And you're supposed to make it the entire way. Next, I have built, next I've used adaptability to skills to adapt to my new teammates and my new classmates as well. Now I pass it on to Satvika to continue. Thank you, Kavana. Now let me share my experience uh, acquiring all the 20 or, or the most of the 21st century skills. Now while conducting the workshop, I've learned research skills and practices to particularly understand the topic clearly before I teach someone else. Next up, we have interrogative questioning. Would you go up to your teacher to clarify a doubt? Well, most of them do, but some people are not confident enough to ask the doubts. But as a teacher or a mentor, you can't leave anybody behind. You've got to make it till the end of the line with all of the students. So you've got to ask, does any of you have any doubts? Now, another skill is teamwork and cooperation. I knew I couldn't do all this by myself. So I had to take help from my fellow tinkerers and we all had to work as a team. And honestly, this has been one of the toughest tasks ever. You've got to work as a team. This has been tough for me because all of us have different opinions and perspectives. And to come to one particular view is really difficult. And we also have to empathize and cooperate with others in order to be a good team member and to make a good team. Now say, if you have a team which, in which your team has been assigned to a particular task, and you guys keep on fighting that this answer will go with my perspective and this will go with my perspective, you will never be able to complete your work only. And then how are you going to make a good team or complete your task? It's not going to be possible, right? So that is, dif uh, that is really difficult in my perspective. Next, we have creativity and innovative ideas. Yes, I had to come up with creative and innovative ideas in order to interest students in ATU. I also acquired productivity skill. As you all know, managing academics and Tinker Chan wasn't an easy job. I became an expert in time management after joining Tinker Champ and became productive. Normally, just before, uh, before I joined Tinker Champ, I couldn't manage my time at all. I, I was always in front of the TV, see, uh, seeing movies and wasting my time. That's something most of us do, right? And we've been used to it, to be honest. But actually, after I joined Tinker Champ, I was really busy. I had to make time, I had to plan my day correctly, plan it, distribute it for different tasks, which I had. And I became really productive with that. Now allow us to share our initiatives with you all. I've built a web portal named Tinkerer Zone to assist and make young tinkerers and innovators life easier by providing access to Tinkerer Zone, which has several amazing features. Let me introduce some of them. The first one is ATL Resource Identifier. It helps you to identify materials or resources available in your ATL. Because most of us don't know what is, how does an Arduino board look like or how does a sensor look like. Many doubts pop up in your mind when you see those things. So that's why I've created ATL Resource Identifier. And then we have Inspiration Hub. Now, during tinkering and innovating, students may go, go through hard times and face challenges, but that's the right time to, sit, to keep themselves strong and keep them inspired. But that's also a point where most of them give up, which should not be done. So that's why I have created Inspiration Hub, so that students can keep themselves motivated with quotes and videos. I've also made a few e-learning resources like AT Library, which gives you brief information about Arduino books and digital pins. I've also made video tutorials on how to create a QR code and a VR tool. 
I've also co-authored an e-book on unknown entrepreneurs and women entrepreneurs. Now over to Kavana to share her initiatives. Thank you, Sadhvika. I filled this ATL website with my team named Aspire to Inspire. And it was built in 2021 and it helps students do and it helps students with ATL and if they're ever new to it. And you can do various activities like earn rewards, submit products, view other students' products, and much more. But now my next website is a bag of skills. If you want to learn different skills to boost your creativity and innovation, you can definitely visit this website, which teaches you multiple digital skills of which you can acquire and can be put into action as well. Now I hand it back to Satvika to continue. Thank you, Kavana. So that was all about our webinar. So hope you liked it. If you have any doubts, you can drop them in the chat box. You can also contact us anytime on the cell phone number that is 9880-549-594-889. Uh, you can also visit our website or contact us on our email makeupbell123 at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you and have a great day ahead. Thank you, Kavana and Satvika for the wonderful exposure to 21st century skills. I'm sure many students among the audience have understood and learned these skills and got inspired. If you have any questions, please put it up in the chat. We will pick them up soon. I now request the audience to participate the quiz done by our quiz master, Nikita. Thank you, Shreya. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nikita I'm of Class 6 Nagasna Mall School, Kadapa. I will now be sharing a quiz on 21st century skills. The questions will be pop up on your screen in the next 5 seconds. Pick contents of 10 questions and you should answer all these questions within 3 minutes of time. Future participants can also answer this quiz by clicking the link in the description below the live stream. We'll be announcing the results of the quiz on the Tingle Jump Megafa website on the day three of the event. So, are you all ready to answer the quiz? The quiz will be starting in the next three seconds. Three, two, one. I hope you can see the quiz. So, the first question of the quiz is, what does learning skills include? So, you have five seconds time to answer this quiz. So, I hope you have answered this quiz question. And the second question of the quiz is, what is the meaning of collaboration? And you have five minutes of time, five seconds of time to answer this question. And the third question of the quiz is, what skills are called as IMT, IMT skills? And you have 10 seconds of time to answer this quiz question. And the fourth question of the quiz is, what is the meaning of technology literacy? You have 10 seconds of time to answer this question. The first question of the quiz is, what does flexibility mean? You have a 10 seconds of time to answer this question. And the sixth question of the quiz is, what is information literacy? You have 10 seconds of time to answer this question.
I hope you answered this question. And the seventh question of the quiz is, what does the word adaptability mean? And you have a 10 seconds of time to answer this question. And the eighth question, which is the second last question, what are the forces also called as? You have a 10 seconds of time to answer this question. And the first class question of the quiz is What are the major 21st century skills? You have a 10 seconds of time to answer this question. And the last question of the quiz is In what category do the flips come in? You have a 10 seconds of time to answer this question. Hurry up, everyone. The last 15 seconds to end the quiz. Fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Hi, time is running up, students. Eleven, ten, nine. Speed up. Eight, seven. Please be faster, friends. Six. Five. There are last five seconds to end up the quiz. Five. Four. Three. Last three seconds to end up the quiz. Two. And YouTube participants can also answer the quiz by clicking the link which is given below in the live stream. And three, two, and one. I'm ending the quiz. So I hope you have answered these questions and thank you everyone for participating in the quiz. Hope it was fun and you all have learned something in the process. Thank you. Thank you, Nikita, for the amazing quiz. Now, if you have any questions, please put it in the chat. We will take them up. Okay, we have a question for Satvika. The question says, how will 21st century skills help me in studies? Well, 21st century skills will help you in many ways. Let me just tell you about, let me just tell you focusing on one particular skill that is productivity. 
see as uh, in your academics and uh, during your studies you get many tasks in your school right like doing the homework preparing for the examinations and many other tasks teachers give us right so you have to manage all of them in a better way and you also have to do that in just 24 hours or maybe less than that so it's really difficult to manage all of them for that productivity skill helps you a lot Keep yourself always busy in the day. If you are free, spend your time productively, maybe by reading a book or two. And in that process, you are doing something uh, productive, but also in a limited time while managing all of your studies, academics, and other things. The main thing is keep yourself always busy because something this is something which I have experienced. As I told earlier, before joining Pink the Champ, I wasn't productive at all. Believe me, not at all. But after joining Pink the Champ, I was always busy doing something on my computer. But it was really important, which I had to do, along with my academics. So I was always busy. I was forced to manage my time well and productively. So always keep yourself busy to become productive. I hope that answers your question well. Yes. We have another question from Sushil Vardhan. Are civic and media literacy the same thing or are they different? Can any one of the speakers answer this? Can you repeat the question, Shreyas? The question is, are civic media, civic and media literacy the same thing or are they different? Okay. So I would like to know if Kavana would answer this question. Kavana, you there? Okay. Yes, Atika, I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay, so you've got a question. Yeah, okay. So can you please repeat the question, Shreyas? The question is. Are civic and media literacy skills the same or different? Okay, so first let's understand what is civic mean. Civic, um, civic media literacy entails the understanding of difficult topics and events that are increasingly mediated by digital sources or information, where it can be challenging to evaluate the re reliability merits of these sources. So civic media literacy also means the same thing as civic literacy. So yes, they are the same thing. Hope that answers your question. Okay. Now we have another question for Kavana. Which is the first and important skill to learn in the 21st century skills? Okay. Uh, so for me, one of the most important 21st century skills are critical thinking. They teach our learners how to think critically. With so much information available online, it's very much crucial that students can analyze, question, and challenge what they're being told. Students should remain very open-minded. They, they should be able to evaluate situations and think outside the box when there are approaching tasks. They should encourage critical thinking in class by having students predict what is going to happen in a reading or listening activity giving them challenging problems to solve, using a variety of games and puzzles, and asking questions with multiple answers. You could also try class debates with learners where they have to examine the advantages and disadvantages of different scenarios before starting. It, it doesn't mean to require a teacher to start a class debate. You can also start it with this topic yourself. These opportunities will make learning more exciting. They can help create a classroom culture where asking questions is positive and also a student's curiosity. Uh, so for me, the most important skill to learn is critical thinking. I hope that answers your question. Yes, thank you. We have another question if any of the speakers can answer it very quick to just give an example for one of the critical thinking skills. Okay, I'd like to answer this question. So when it comes to critical thinking skills, as Kavana explained while doing the webinar, do, uh, with a simple chart, you have to analyze, then uh, you have to do uh, several steps. So let me give an example here. 
say in your school, uh, usually in schools for secondary classes, there's an option to join different clubs, science club, mathematics club, English club, and, and so on. There are many clubs for the students. So well, in, when it comes to joining clubs or some extracurricular things or anything which is different, or maybe joining Tinker Champ, they should first think that, like they should first analyze that what are they going to get from this? Are there any benefits? How, how are they going to get, like how are they going to improve something by joining that? So in that way, there are several things like maybe joining a college if you have two options. Again, you have to use critical thinking skills to join which college. So there are many examples. You can, many relatable ones, which you can just find in your daily life. So I hope that answers your question well, Shreyas. Yes, thank you. So that is all the time we had today. Thank you, Kavana and Satrika for this amazing session. I have launched a poll. Please rate the session and for our next session, you will be learning how, what and what it takes to become a thinker champ. Till then, keep tinkering. Bye. Okay, uh, thank you Shreyas for hosting such a beautiful session and now we are ending our live.